What is up guys? It is Giver the Beans here again. I know it's been a while since I made a video. It's been really snowy. The weather's been bad. I can't really help it. I've been doing a little snow riding, but not much because I ain't had anyone to really ride with me. So yeah, the content's been kind of weekly lately. But today it's not really going to be a ride video either. Today is another one of those boring videos, I guess. I'm going to show you a new mod that had been made to Sleepy, the wheel horse that I ride all the time. It is a pretty, pretty huge mod. Uh, all the guys on the Facebook groups, the off-road motor groups, everything, they, they've already seen this. It's old news. But to you YouTube people, all this is going to be new, fresh, something for you to see. Uh, you can make the mod happen yourself if you really want to go out of the way and do it. Um, yeah, so, oh, and I'm introducing a new tractor on the channel. You guys have no idea who this is. You've never seen him before. He is ready to go. And he's going to be a spare tractor for my friends or people that come over. They want to ride with us, but they don't have a built tractor. Or they break down or something happens. Or if I just want to go take a little rip on him, you know, so yeah so all right enough of the chit chat let's go check out the tractors i hate to be boring but let's go all right guys i'm here don't mind the yard it's the snow just melted away and yeah it's a little nasty a little muddy in front of my shop here but if you can't notice right off the bat the new mod is the front axle this is a swept axle I'm not sure what series wool horse this comes from, but hey, it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet little swap. I like it. Um, it extends forward instead of straight out like stock. It extends forward three inches, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it is wider. I think it's setting at 40 wide at the moment, and the rear is 43 wide from outside to outside tire. These usually come with the one inch spindles, which is a big upgrade a lot of people like to switch to. But I done something a little different and yeah, maybe it was kind of too much work, but it's what I wanted to do. So yeah, I'm gonna take you through that and explain the modifications, what all had to be changed um pretty simple but is it really needed uh we'll kind of we'll kind of get to that and see if this is something you would really need in an off-road tractor it doesn't have to be a wheel horse uh some john deere's come with a swept axle also so yeah we'll, we'll figure all that out okay guys if you check this out on my hood this is a stock wheel horse front axle can see it straight no sweep to it it has a smaller three-quarter inch round spindles uh, yeah so if you get any wheel horse well most wheel horses this is what you're gonna have in it this is also stock tie rod and I'm gonna explain what this is for here in a second um, okay so I guess the first step to it is, will this slide up in the frame? The, will the swept axle fit in your frame without doing any cutting or anything? Yeah, it will. You can pop that right up in there, put your pin or bolt through, and you're good to go. You don't have to touch anything. I just have my little exhaust hangers here. This is my um, comfort mod, pretty much. It, it's not shocks or suspension in any way, but it keeps the front end from smacking the frame and all that shock just being up here all the time when you have these doubled exhaust hangers here it just makes it a little smoother ride and not as rough in the front it's easier on your equipment and you but uh yeah so it slides right up in everything's fine first thing i did notice is your tie rods will have to be super extended um yeah but that's actually not a bad thing and i will let you know why right here in a second you see the stock tie rod it's 
I don't know, maybe, what is that, 10 inches, maybe? Probably not, I don't know. But either way, here's your stock tie rod compared to the one you'll need for the sweat. Huge difference. I would get it up in there better, but here we go. Yeah, look at that, huge difference. Okay, so that's the first big thing that you're gonna have to do. And I cut my original tie rods cut them extended them put some pop in there welded it back and i figured out you don't have to do that you can just order some uh i'm using 300 honda tie rods you can use these same tie rods if you buy the original length tie rods like the way you get them originally they will fit you won't have to cut them or anything so that's awesome i bought some spares i think that's going to work out fine so pops up in there put your pin in extend your tie rods out and i'm sure all of you that change to this swept axle you'll want to keep the one inch spindles i'm sure you want to keep that only thing is is when you switch over to those one inch spindles you're going to have your eight inch rims that also take the one inch spindle and they have these big bearings in them like roller bearings i don't know if it's like i don't know what kind really but they're the same as like a trailer bearing and I just figured you know what it's hard it's harder to find those rims around here and the bearings i wanted to keep my original rims bearings and all uh yeah so i'm about to go through how i kept my original three quarter inch spindles in the one inch spindle swept axle okay so of course me being me i can't remember the exact size of the bushings i got so i'll put them down in the description I also put a link so that way if you want to do this for some reason you can go do that you know if you want to keep your original spindles because they're reinforced already like mine are and you don't want to swap to the eight inch rim with the roller bearing trailer bearing whatever you want to call those things um if you don't want to do that i bought some inch long bronze bushings they're the same kinds that i put in the transaxle I replaced those axle bearings with bronze bushings. Not recommended, but you know, I did it anyways. So I got one inch to go up top and I got a one inch to go down to the bottom. That way I could still use this grease fit in here. And I ran into a problem with that. I put everything together, rode it around for maybe 10 minutes and my top bushing dropped down to the bottom and my spindle was just wobbling, you know. I guess it was because the axle was used, the swept axle. It was used so the bushings didn't fit in there as snug as they really should have. All I done was cut me some thin pop, put a piece of thin pop in here between the two bushings, kept them from moving around, and it's perfect. Oh, okay, a very important thing I almost forgot about. The swept axle is also taller here. So when you put your three quarter inch spindle in there, you're not going to be able to put a clip or anything on there unless you know it's tapped so i did have to cut maybe an eighth inch off of this right here yeah maybe an eighth inch right here no big deal take a bandsaw cut it super soft yeah so like i said you know it was more work than most people were really going to put in just to change a front axle that's three inches difference total you know but it's something i really wanted and when i really want something i usually go way out of the way to make it happen you know just like this tractor you know this is just my image this is what i wanted it to be so i made it this way and that's why i think everyone should be like that you should get an image of what you want in your head and you should make it happen and you know that's just what's going to keep everything interesting it's just going to keep everything fun so yeah um i'm pretty sure i covered it you know it's pretty sweet look pretty mean look i like it but pretty sure i covered everything and i'm gonna stop talking about it so yeah i apologize for all the chit chat i'm doing all right now we're going to get into the fun stuff the fun stuff check this dude out now he has been on my property for a few months like quite a while and i, I had an image for him but 
it wasn't clear. I couldn't make up my mind. I didn't know what I wanted it to be. You know, as far as do I want to restore this, put an original looking motor on it. You know, it, it's kind of a decision you make when you, you get into these garden tractors and stuff. This is either a 500 special or 700 special. I can't remember which one. Either way, it came with a three speed originally. The three speed transaxle, we swapped it with an eight with the uh, inch and eighth axle. It is, it was uh, the one from my uh, gear flip video. I'm pretty sure it is gear flipped, which we recently busted the gears in a gear flip trans. Uh, my buddy Muhammad did. Uh, but he's also running 26 12 by 12 Kenda executioners with a uh, Duramax engine. So, yeah, that may be that could be the reason. This is running tractor tread with a six and a half 212 Predator on it. So, I don't think there's going to be any gear busting happening. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, no brakes, I don't have the brakes fixed yet. Uh, no foot throttle actually. That's a surprise because we put foot throttles on everything. But he's a little different. Uh, I noticed a lot of people get hurt with the foot throttle. And what I mean by that is they're not used to the foot throttle, the brake, and the clutch, and your gears. So, you know, I was like, well, maybe it'd be easier just to have a hand throttle. Uh, hand throttles are probably more dangerous or just as bad uh it just all depends on who's riding it i can ride it fine i have no issues but i kind of have a hang of the throttle and stuff like that it has a seven to stock pulley swap and the stock is six and a half i'm pretty sure it has an idler there to keep the belt up out of the water a little cheap chinese uh, aluminum pulley uh, nothing special probably blow apart soon but that's okay. It was cheap. I'm going to get me some new fronts. Uh, add fluid for sure. Because as you'll see here in a second, there's a very light front end in this guy. You know, trashy seat. Everyone needs a trashy seat. You know, fenders, trampoline spring, storage. Um, yeah, so he runs maybe 15. Hmm, yeah, I'd say 15. And his name is Rusty Nell, okay? And you guys might be like, well, I've heard Rusty from, you know, the famous creepy crawler. We've all heard Rusty. But look at little Rusty Nell. This is the reason. Look at that nail. Drove right through the hood. It was like that when I got it, so I kept it. Yeah, it had a tree that grew up through the frame, up through this hole, an old exhaust hole or something the previous owners had. Yeah, but that was super cool. Um, nothing major done to him. You know, transaxle swap, some tires. He's gonna get some new back tires. Shout out to Josh Theory, some of the Ohio boys. He's going to bring me some back tires and he's going to bring me some 19 7 by 8s to put on the front. So that way I can throw some fluid on that bad boy and actually not die and let my buddies ride and not die. And hopefully I can turn this into a newbie tractor, which it's a horrible decision to make this the newbie tractor. You know, the short, super short, light in the front, but we're going to try to make it happen. We're going to try to get more people into the tractor scene we just need more people in the tractor scene it's super fun you know you get into it it's it's a blast my cringe worthy belt guard which is a screw cross threaded into the stock engine thread hole there whatever you want to call that uh yeah you can cringe at that that's okay i do too i do too i don't know why i done that it just worked so i did you know I don't do everything the right way, just to let you guys know. Um, I try to. With Sleepy, I do. I do. But with this guy, nah, it's okay. It's okay. 
there's going to be a few clips of me ripping old rusty nail nothing special uh some clips from my wife's phone sent through messenger so they're going to be kind of blurry kind of bad quality but at least you guys will be able to not listen to me blah 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 as much all right guys i'm sorry i've talked sleepy rusty nail give her the beans 97 get in the tractors um come join the groups all the facebook groups those things are super cool you know you get to see all these builds you get to learn all this stuff uh yeah feel free to join wife's mini bike clear torque converter cover there go join mini bike pages man i mean just get out in the woods that's what we all need all right clips peace guys see you next time